Thanks for checking out the E59 Mark III Delta Superior Edition by the Bigley Brothers, a cutting-edge drone with 720-degree laser detection for obstacle-free flights, blockbuster sensor for top-notch aerial photography, advanced GPS for pinpoint hovering, plus 5G HD transmission up to one kilometer. It's foldable and equipped with four robust brushless motors, one key takeoff and landing, and smart returns. Low power, one key, lost signal. Ensure safety during a 30-minute flight time. With a follow me mode and optical flow technology, it's perfect for all skill levels. Experience drone flight's future today. Pre-flight preparation. Open the carrying case carefully to avoid any damage to the contents inside. Locate the remote controller and the drone within the carrying case. Carefully take out the drone from the carrying case, making sure not to apply pressure to the camera or manually move the camera's three-axis gimbal. Remove the remote controller first, ensuring that you handle it gently and avoid any unnecessary force. Once the drone is out of the case, unfold all of its arms slowly and ensure that they are fully extended. This step is crucial to prevent any unexpected crashes while flying. Locating the power button on the drone, press it for around three seconds until the drone turns on. Find a level ground surface and place the drone on it. The drone's LED light will flash slowly during this time. Wait for about three seconds before moving to the next step. Turn on the remote control by pressing its power button. Once the remote control is active, it will emit two beeps, and the green LED light at the rear arm of the drone will flash slowly. The red LED light at the back will remain on, confirming a successful connection between the drone and the remote controller. Locate the geomagnetic calibration button on the remote controller. Hold this button for approximately three seconds, and the remote control will emit a single beep. As you do this, the LED light indicator on the rear arm of the drone will rapidly flash, indicating that geomagnetic calibration can be performed. Stand facing the drone and rotate it slowly clockwise three times. As you do this, the rear green light indicator on the drone's arm will transition from fast flashing to slow flashing. You'll also hear a beep from the remote controller. This indicates a successful horizontal calibration. Next, point the drone towards the ground and slowly rotate it clockwise three times. This action will cause the green light indicator on the drone's arm to flash slowly, followed by the red LED light staying on. The remote controller will emit two beeps. These signals confirm a successful vertical calibration. Locate the gyro calibration button on the remote controller. Press and hold this button for about three seconds. As you do so, the green LED light indicator on the drone will flash slowly and the red light will stay on. A beep from the remote controller will indicate successful gyro calibration. Place the drone horizontally facing you and step back at least one meter. Allow the drone one to two minutes to search for GPS signals. While waiting, observe the drone. The green LED light will transition from a slow flash to a long light flash and the red light will stay on. The remote control will emit a single beep and the display will show a GPS star count greater than eight. This confirms that the drone has acquired a sufficient GPS signal. Basic operation. Switch modes. Press and hold the remote controller's GPS button for three seconds. You'll hear two beeps. The drone's green light will flash slowly and the red light will stay on. The remote control screen will show off, confirming the indoor and optical flow mode shift. Simultaneously, the GPS will deactivate. Just to let you know, flying the drone indoors is risky for beginners, potentially causing crashes or damage. Unlock button. Press and hold the unlock button to unlock the propellers when you're ready to fly the drone. Left throttle up. Push the left throttle stick upward to make the drone ascend and fly higher. Left throttle down. Push the left throttle stick downward to make the drone descend and fly lower. Left throttle left. Move the left throttle stick to the left to make the drone turn left. Left throttle right. Move the left throttle stick to the right to make the drone turn right.
Right throttle up. Push the right throttle stick upward to make the drone fly forward. Right throttle down. Push the right throttle stick downward to make the drone fly backward. Right throttle left. Move the right throttle stick to the left to make the drone fly left sideward. Right throttle right. Move the right throttle stick to the right to make the drone fly right sideward. Speed button. By default, the drone operates in first gear mode. Press the speed button to switch to second gear mode. The remote controller will emit two beeps to indicate the mode change. Note that there are only two speed modes available. Headless mode button. To activate the headless mode, press the headless mode button. The remote controller will emit a single beep to indicate that the headless mode has been activated. Press the button again to deactivate headless mode. You will hear two beeps. Camera adjusting knob. Adjust the knob to the right to move the camera downward and adjust it to the left to move the camera upward. The camera's adjustment range is up to 120 degrees. Alternatively, within the drone app, Click the PTZ icon to access camera adjustments. Slide the control up to make the camera move up, otherwise it will move down. Photo and video button. To take a photo, briefly press this button. For recording a video, press and hold the button. Release to stop recording. In the drone app, you can also use the photo icon for capturing photos and the video icon to initiate and conclude video recording. Return to Home button. Press the Return to Home button to trigger the drone's automatic return to its initial takeoff position. Remember, the Return to Home function requires GPS mode to be enabled. Obstacle Avoidance Function To install the Obstacle Avoidance Camera, locate the Obstacle Avoidance Cover. Carefully insert the Obstacle Avoidance Camera and firmly secure it by pinching the incisions on both sides. Install the Obstacle Avoidance while the drone is turned off. Avoid touching the Obstacle Avoidance Camera when the drone is powered on. Remove the Obstacle Avoidance when the drone is not in use. Using Obstacle Avoidance The Obstacle Avoidance System can detect obstacles within a 360-degree range. When the Obstacle Avoidance Camera is installed, the function is active by default. To enable or disable the Obstacle Avoidance function, press and hold the Obstacle Avoidance button. Connecting to the Drone's Application Step 1. Prepare the Drone Application 1. Locate and scan the QR code provided in the app operating instructions using any QR scanner application. You can search RX Drone and then download one from your App Store, App Store, or Google Play Store. Step 2. Connect your phone to the drone's Wi-Fi. 1. Turn off your mobile data to prevent interference during the process. 2. Open your phone's settings. 3. Find and select Wi-Fi. 4. Look for the drone's Wi-Fi network name, which usually starts with HF GPS 5G XX. This network should be listed among the available networks. Step 3. Launch the RX Drone application. 1. Open the RX Drone application on your phone. 2. If prompted, agree to the user agreement and privacy policy. 3. When asked, Grant the necessary permissions for the application to function properly. 4. Inside the application, press the Play button. 5. Wait for the drone's camera image to appear on your phone screen. Once you see the image from the drone's camera on your phone screen, it indicates that the drone application is successfully connected and ready to use. Installation of Mobile Phone Holder Attach the phone holder to the remote controller, then Carefully secure the phone onto the holder. To adjust the phone's angle, gently lift the phone holder upwards. Mobile app functionality. Waypoint flight icon. Use this feature to draw waypoints on the map. Once you click the send icon, the drone will fly according to the order of the waypoints you drew. Circumferential flight icon. 
This feature enables the drone to fly around while using its current position as the center and moving in a clockwise direction. Lens Switch Icon This feature allows you to switch between the front camera and the bottom camera. Gesture Photo Video Icon Make a Y-shaped hand gesture to automatically take a photo after a 3-second countdown. A palm hand gesture is used to automatically start recording a video. Follow Icon This feature enables the drone to follow your mobile phone's GPS location. Replacing and charging the battery. Battery charging. Connect the USB to micro USB charging cable to the battery and connect it to a 5V charger adapter or USB port. The LED light on the battery will stop flashing when it's fully charged. Charging time is approximately 200 minutes. It's recommended to use a fast 5V charger adapter for better performance. Remote control charging. Connect the USB to micro USB charging cable to the remote controller and connect it to a 5V charger adapter or USB port. The green LED indicating light will be on while charging and turn off when it's fully charged. Charging time is approximately 30 minutes. It's recommended to use a fast 5V charger adapter for better performance. Installation of drone blades. One. Unscrew the screws and remove the existing drone blades. 2. Attach a propeller labeled A to any A motor and a propeller labeled B to any B motor. The specific number indicated in the propeller example, A1, A2, B1, B2, does not matter. 3. Once you replace the propellers, make sure to tighten the screws securely. We also offer one year of full coverage with our Bigly Care Package, which gives you the ultimate peace of mind. Accidents, water damage, or even lost drone? No problem. With Bigly Care Refresh, we've got you covered for a full year.